Man, how am I going to brief these guys on her? All right, everyone, listen up. This is a briefing on our target, Chelsea Lynn, AKA Trailer Trash Tammy. I want to emphasize safety on this operation. Tammy will fight you, and you will need to have your radio communication secure. So bring your mic loop. Officer Daniels is heading up the operation. As soon as he gives us word over his radio, we will move in to effect an arrest. Are there any questions on this briefing? McGee. Yeah, LT, is she gonna be with anyone? No. Dog. How many warrants does she have? 487. She has 487 active warrants. Hall. LT, do we know if she's still wearing that classic Reba shirt the uh, night the lights went out in Georgia? Yes, she is. Load up and go. Let's go! Let's go! Hey! Tammy. Officer Daniels. <clears throat> Huh? Where's your taser now? Where's your taser now? Had they just secured their comms with this life-saving measure, we would have Tammy in custody. All right, welcome back everyone to this week's video. This is gonna be a little bit different. We're doing a video on the mic loop. Some of you may have heard of that. It is a device to secure your radio to either your vest or your tactical gear. Essentially what this product does is attaches itself via a Velcro piece and then has a paracord-like material that comes out from the Velcro piece outside of your shirt or vest carrier. And we're all familiar with the back of a microphone that will in turn hook in to the piece of cord and secure your microphone. I have found in comparison to this TMK device that I had been wearing that it is light years better than what I had. I do apologize for my get up today. We had SWAT training all day. As some of you know, I'm on night shift, so this would be a huge pain to try to shoot at home or some other time. So I figured since we had training down here today, I would just stay after training on my own time and do this review while I'm here. All right, I think I'm gonna lose battery soon. Because of that, I'm gonna switch over to my SWAT vest and show you the Mike Loop Micro which is more of a tactical application. So I'll show you how that goes on now. All right, this is my plate carrier. And as you can see, there's not much you can do here as far as attaching a mic. A lot of us have the earpiece mics or the boom mics, and that'll work fine without any type of security because those go on your ears and a boom mic will come out around your mouth. The problem is when you run into a situation where you need to wear a gas mask, and unfortunately nowadays, a lot of houses with the fentanyl and methamphetamine and things like that, gas mask missions are fairly common. You lose that ability. At least most agencies lose that ability because gas mask capable comms cost a ton of money. So what you end up with usually is still wearing this type of mic with an earpiece. And you have that little 3.5 millimeter adapter there where you'd wear an earpiece. Problem is, where do you attach it? You can attach it to Molly, and for some reason with some Molly, it'll work, and other Molly, it will slip right out, which is not really a great place to put it. And so that's just gonna come out if you pull it out, which is not good. So Mike Loop has come up with this Mike Loop Micro, and really easy to attach. Almost all of us have this removable plate at the front of our plate carrier on pretty much any tactical plate carrier, pull that off, find a little piece of Velcro, that'll work there, push it back, now you've got your mic loop. The great thing about the mic loop is this thing isn't coming out. You are not pulling that out. You would probably break your radio cord before that's going to come off of that Velcro piece. So as far as attaching it, whether you come around the side or come over the shoulder, you attach it just like that. Make sure your opening is toward the radio cable and you're good to go. That is how your mic will attach. No matter what, this mic is not coming off. There's, I don't know if that's coming out that well on video, but I'm pulling really good and that mic's not coming off. So that's great for tactical plate carriers. All right, I threw my plate carrier on just to give some perspective and context of what I'm talking about. The mic loop micro is still attached here and from up here, 
I mean, it's thing, it's, it's not coming out of its anchor. So when you attach the mic here, you put it through the loop. Make sure the open end is facing towards the radio cord. And you're good to go, you're set. This thing's not going anywhere. I'll do some manipulation of the mic too, standing here, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Probably gonna jam myself in the face. This thing's not coming off. Like I said, I'm probably gonna break this mic cord before I'd actually break the mic loop. All right, so back in my patrol gear. This is where most of you are going to find the most effectiveness out of this product. The tactical side is great and it's a great idea, but there's just not a lot of law enforcement that are involved in that specialized unit. There's a very small percentage. A lot of us are involved in a patrol capacity. So there's two routes to go here. One, a very popular thing now is the vest carrier or that external carrier. Our agency allows officers to choose to wear that. So I will show you that. And there's somewhat of a hack to that to get the mic loop to thread properly. I'll show you exactly how to do that. But the most common uniform shirt is the button down. We're all familiar with it. And that is what the original mic loop was built for. Okay, like I explained before, this is my external vest carrier. This one is made by Blauer. It's called the Armor Skin. It's a pretty common external vest carrier. And I'll show you the modification you have to do to vest carriers to get the mic loop to thread outside of the carrier and attach to your mic. It's really easy, anyone can do it. There's a couple different ways of doing it, but essentially if you just cut a hole in your vest carrier, that's it, you're done. So when you fold this flap up, you will get to see your vest. Now when you get underneath your vest, the first thing you're gonna have to do if you haven't used a mic loop before is make a hole or a pass through from your vest to outside your carrier. There's dog hair even there. That's, it followed me everywhere. So what I did is I came underneath this previously installed mic slot here. And if you look closely, I don't know if that'll show up on camera, but I just put a really small slit here. And you can't see it. If you're not using the mic loop, you have no idea that it's even there. So as soon as you find where that would be, so here you can kind of put a finger under there, find out the middle of that mic fabric there is about right here. All I did was take a knife and when I had my place there, I put the knife through and just made a slight cut, just enough to get that cord through. So as you can see, you can't see it under that. But the next thing to do once you have that pass through is feed your loop through. Now, if you wear the mic on the left side of your vest, you'll want to keep this cord on the left side of your vest. However, I wear my mic on the right side of my vest. So I wanna measure exactly how much of this loop I will need to get my mic in place on the right side of my vest. I like my mic to sit about right here. So what I will do is move just enough of that cord to where my mic will be secured right here. Once you have that cord measured, I know I want about that much exposed to accomplish where I need that mic on my chest. Once you have that measured out, as far as how much loop you want, that is where you will place your Velcro on the vest. So I know about right here is as far as I can pull this underneath before that will lose the measurement that I want. So you can even see straps here should interfere with that. But because this is Velcro, your straps, depending on whether you crisscross them or, or whatever you do, your straps will go right over that because it's double-sided Velcro. So that won't, that won't be interfered with. And that can pretty much stay right there. All right, as you can see, now I have my vest carrier on. I don't put all my hardware and all that on simply because I'm only doing a review, it's not necessary. But that loop is still here. It's not going anywhere. Um, I don't really wanna break my uniform, but I can tug on that pretty good and that loop isn't going to go anywhere. Just like with the tactical vests, I wear my mic like this. What I found easier is just to feed it through kind of the wrong way. This is supposed to be pointed 
this opening is supposed to be pointed towards your cord. Well, to feed it through, I go like that and just twist this and we're good. You can double loop it around here and I do actually do that. But for purposes of this demonstration, I just wanna show you what just attaching to the clip will do. So that is essentially how your mic loop is attached. It's really easy. You don't have to uninstall it and install it each time. It stays right here. For demonstration purposes, again, I, I know I'm gonna break something here, but pretty much that is what happens when you're in a fight. Everything gets grabbed and pulled. See, I just had something fall off but this mic is staying right here. And this is your lifeline. This is what you need when you're in a fight, when someone's aggressing you, you need this. You need to have your backup, you need to have communication. And to be able to go through all that and not fall off is great. Okay, so with the standard uniform shirt, not a lot changes. It is a lot easier to get this in because you don't have to modify the shirt. So essentially, as shown before, what you would do is open that up, you do the same thing as you would on the vest carrier. You're gonna measure out how much loop you actually need exposed to place your mic. So if I like to wear my mic right about here, I wanna expose probably about that much loop. So with a standard uniform shirt, you can do this with your vest and shirt already on, or you can choose to do it beforehand. So if I want about that much loop to put my mic right there, I know this is gonna to zip together so I need this to be fully taut. It's gonna be about right there, all right? So essentially that can stay there the whole time and you'll zip up your uniform shirt like usual and this will be exposed there. I will tell you I wore a uniform shirt one night with the mic loop and didn't have any problems with that pulling that down because you gotta remember if you're actually gonna utilize this for its capability, you're gonna be in a fight. So this zipper's coming down regardless if you got this mic loop or not. So this will stay in place. This will look good, it'll look professional. It'll stay pretty much hidden until you get in a fight. The great thing about wearing a uniform shirt with this is it's super easy to install. I can put a strap over it and this will come right up. So it's that easy, that stays right there. Then, same as the vest carrier. Make sure that clip is toward the radio cord and you're good to go. This is being held close against my body. Again, not going anywhere. Say you get in a fight, you get in a struggle and this is really being wrenched on hard and just hard enough really to to bring that zipper down. The great thing about the mic loop is it's not button anchored. It's still anchored by that Velcro. It still has straps over the double side of the Velcro. So is it possible this comes loose? Yeah, anything's possible, especially with clothing, but if you're really yanking on that, at minimum, if that comes unzipped, you still have your lifeline. This is still attached to you. So. This shirt I never wear. I don't really care if I break it. I mean, I'm, I'm putting some good... This would be somebody directly trying to pull your mic off. It's not coming off. All right, it looks like I found out what fell off my uniform. It was one of these ribbons here. You guys have probably figured that out already. What I wanted to do is give this TMK a fair shot or at least properly evaluate it for you and show you why I prefer the mic loop over it. This is convenient. The good thing about the TMK is it's more secure than this piece of fabric. It definitely will hold your mic longer and better than this piece of fabric will. It also is pretty portable. If you wanna wear your mic over here, if that feels most comfortable for you, you can. Obviously it stays on the buttons pretty well. You know, you can wear your mic up here. If you have, you know, shoulder buttons up here, you can try that. Um, a lot of people do. Now to be fair and for comparison's sake, this is that TMK clip that I had been using and I just kind of want to show you what I mean by holding the mic further away from the body. 
So you can really wear this on any button. There's no prescribed place to wear it. Where I typically wore it is, well, I'm gonna have to move that body camera down. Where I typically wore it was right here on this button and it snaps into place there. The problem with that is when you secure it, one, your anchor point is a button and that isn't very safe. Two, just convenience wise, this is what I'm talking about, about this mic flopping around. I hate that, that gets on my nerves. I, there's nothing I like about that. I know there are different ways to wear it and different places to put it to minimize some of this. Definitely aware of that, but I just, no matter what you do, this thing is flopping around. So I don't like mainly that the anchor point is a button. That to me, your buttons are gonna fly off if somebody yanks on this. Also, and I'm probably gonna yank a button off here, That it's that easy to yank this thing off. It is more secure than this loop here, definitely more secure than fabric. So if this is all you have, that's great. You know, it, it's a start, but there is no way it's near as secure as the mic loop. Again, I mean, that was first try. I kind of amazed myself there that I got that off. But, all right, we're in there. We're in there in the prescribed manner. You're in a fight. <laughs> I'm gonna rip a button. It's out again. And I don't know guys, you gotta have comms. This is super important. I like the mic being right here. I just didn't like this fabric. So I'd wear the TMK holder here and it would just take the place of that. As you saw in the vest carrier portion of the video, however, any weight or pull on that brings it away from your body, which is super annoying for me. Also, this isn't as secure as that piece of cord. And it's a pretty simple concept. I know it's a piece of cord and Velcro, but the way that it's stitched in, that cord isn't going anywhere. I certainly wouldn't trust myself to stitch in a cord. I wouldn't trust my life with it anyway. And it's double-sided. It's gonna stay anchored in your vest. This is anchored on a button, and this plastic, it fails. As you saw when I shook that mic around it, it slipped right out of there. And if you've ever been in a fight before, you know how abused that mic gets when you are on the ground wrestling with somebody. It just gets pulled, pushed, ripped off. You have to keep that thing attached to your body. It is your lifeline. So the fact that this is anchored by a button is not good. Also, this plastic just does not secure it as well as the mic loop. What I saw when I got his product was, you know, what appeared to be paracord or 550 cord and double-sided Velcro and some really good stitching here. There is no doubt that we like to try to do things ourselves. We think we can rig anything up. So I did attempt this and you'll see a little bit of footage of this thing actually ripping out of my vest, but I took some 550 cord here, dang, and some Velcro, good Lord, some Velcro I had laying around. So what I did is I sewed this so it was double-sided and then I inserted the 550 cord in here and then sewed this in here. So it looked some something similar to this prior to me destroying it. When I did the same stress test to the vest and, and you only, I don't, I think I was ripping it around and I totally forgot to turn my cam, my camcorder, my camera on. And then I realized, oh, I better turn this on. You know, there's always gonna be doubters out there. Um, so when I turned it on, you guys actually saw it ripping out and coming loose, but I was ripping on it just like I was down at our headquarters at SWAT and the thing ripped right out. The stitching actually ripped out. The Velcro was secure. The Velcro was, was all right. Although I don't really think I did a good job stitching it together, but the, this, um, it's now it's already out. This, this came right out and this is the end result. You got string hanging here. Um, and this is all shredded, beat up. Look, I know there's probably a right way to sew this. I just, I'm not going to trust myself. All right, I'm going to shoot this again. I, I just have some paracord there stitched to Velcro, but it is coming loose. So I restitched it again. Things should be triple stitched. So we will see. Standard paracord. <clears throat>
Come on. Come over here. Oh, golly. All right, that's not good. <laughs> All right, so I hope you saw at least some of the effectiveness of both of these. And although I couldn't get into an actual fight, I hope a lot of that manipulating with my vest and the mic loop, you know, I even lost some of my jewelry there on the, um, on the breast of my vest carrier. That's just not going to happen with the other alternatives to securing your mic, okay? This is definitely worth it. So I would shoot over to the mic loop. I'll leave descriptions in the link below. I'll leave prices in the link below for you and give it a shot. And if you have questions about this, this guy, he's, you know, I always brag on Jason McCoy from Microtech because I think when you have a positive experience with a company, it really sits with you as far as that company and you become loyal. Um, this is one of those companies. Nick is an extremely responsive dude. Uh, you can tell that he really has law enforcement at the forefront of his goals and his objectives with his company. And he's just been, you know, a pleasure to deal with and really has had answered questions and sent me links about his product to kind of show that he's doing a good thing. And, and this is something that could really save law enforcement. And I think that when you get a company like that, you need to hold on to those companies. You need to give those companies business. So, um, please visit, at least visit his website and kind of look around and see how this could work for you. We're going to jump into the B-roll. Go ahead and berate me in the comments for doing B-roll of, you know, a mic loop. I don't care. I like doing that stuff. And there might be some weirdo like me out there that actually wants to see the stitching and the double-sided Velcro and the type of cord used up close. So quite honestly, I'll probably take a lot of hits for it, but... I don't care, it's it's pretty cool product and I'm more than happy to show it off. All right, that's it for this week's video. Again, thank you guys so much for subscribing this channel. I really am trying to get back to all the comments and everything. I definitely am reading all the comments at minimum, and that is what pushes my focus for the next week's video. So I've heard the duty belt call outs. I've heard the uh, gear bag call outs. I've, I've heard all that. Those are on the schedule. Trust me, those are coming. Um, but I want to let you know that, you know, I definitely thank you for all the support you're giving me and I really hope this channel grows and as I said before at minimum my goal is to you know steal a little bit from officer Daniel's verbiage here humanize the badge a little bit I want to show you that there's human beings behind that badge and that we are out here to help our other brothers and sisters in law enforcement you know maybe cut the mistakes down a little bit i've made a lot of mistakes in the job i want to show you products and maybe ways of doing things that might benefit you and maybe they won't benefit you and you could certainly let me know that too but i just bottom line i wanted to thank you and check some other content out i have a uh, last week i or what would that be this week i don't know 
I released a video on perception versus reality in law enforcement. Um, check out that on Instagram, and I think that's on Facebook and Twitter as well. And I'll try to do a little bit of different content on that as well. I, you know, it's hard for me to decide what you guys might and might not like, so I'm just kind of throwing everything out there that I can. Until next week, I'll see you guys later. Be safe.